Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create SSIS package execution proxy in SQL Server. And we'll be learning in this video what is SSIS package execution proxy, how to create SSIS package execution credentials, how to create proxy using SSIS package execution credentials. And the scenario up here is that uh, we are going to create a job on uh, server one, domain one, server one, which runs SSIS package on domain two, server two. And that SSIS package has a connection which basically connects to SQL Server domain two, SQL, uh, server two databases. Now, this up here, uh, SQL Server, and up here is our source SQL Server. This is destination SQL Server. Keep in mind that uh, the user uh, that runs the agent account on domain one, SQL Server one, that doesn't have permission to connect to the databases on domain server two. So let's go ahead and create this scenario and then we will go ahead and create proxy and see if we will be able to run the package. Let's go ahead. This is my SQL server and this is my source where I want to create my uh, job and uh, that job will run the SSIS package. Let's go ahead and create the job. Right click on new job. I'm going to go ahead and say run SSIS pkg package and my step would be go ahead and step name is run ssis pkg same and we're going to go ahead and use sql server integration service package Not sure what happened here, so let's go ahead and new job run SSIS PKG and we're going to go ahead and create a step which will run the package run package and we'll be going to create integration and we will run under SQL Server agent account and we have a package that is on file system and in file system we have a package my package now this package basically we're creating it's uh, on SQL Server 2 on SQL Server our domain 2 SQL Server so we're going to go ahead and click OK and click OK and let's go ahead and refresh the jobs and we're going to go ahead and run SSIS package let's start the job let's see if it su gets successful and let's look at the execution history <clears throat> okay as you can see that it says right here tbs client sql mirror dot master this uh, user right here sql server uh, service account which is running uh, the sql server agent services does not have permission to uh, connect to uh, sql server uh, Tech Brothers client backslash SQL Server mirror dot master database. Now the scenario is we know a user that can connect to SQL Server mirror dot master, but that SQL Server uh, that data, uh, ser um, user does not exist on uh, uh, Tech Brothers SQL Server SQL prod. So what we're going to do is create a proxy now so in order to create a proxy you need to create first credential so let's go ahead and create new credential mm, run SSIS credential that's my name you can name anything you want to now identity is the the user that we're talking about that can connect with SQL Server uh, client and SQL mirror instance so that is the uh, user we need to find in our active directory so that would be tech brothers backslash SSIS user I believe that's the user and we're going to go ahead and click OK and provide the password for that user and click OK now keep in mind that if we go to the security up here um, login this user SSIS user does not exist on our SQL prod so but it does exist on our SQL mirror that's the user but we want to use SQL prod 
uh, job services in order to run the package. So let's go ahead and create proxy. After we created the credential, we need to create proxy. In order to create the proxy, you need to expand SQL Server agent. And up here is SSIS package execution proxy. We need to right click, click new proxy, and run SSIS package. That's the name of the proxy. And we're going to give credential that we just created, SSIS credential. OK. And principle, if you wanted to give this proxy other users to use this proxy, you can add those users. They, they need to be non-sysadmin. All the sysadmin uh, user will have automatically access to this proxy. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And let's refresh this. And we have run SSIS package proxy. Now let's go back to our job. That was our job right here. And let me quickly show you that it failed the last time. And last time failure was that it could not connect to our, um, this user could not connect to SQL Server mirror.master. So let's go ahead and change something. This time what we need to do is we need to edit our step. And we want to use basically run as run SSIS package that is our proxy account this is what we want to use so we changed it from SQL Server agent service account to our use our uh, uh, proxy account so we're gonna go ahead and click OK OK and let's go ahead and run this job and see if it is successful right click start the job and as you can see the job is successful let's go ahead and look at the history As you can see that it was able to basically run the package and finish the package successfully. So basically this is how you uh, create SSIS package execution proxy account and can use any SQL server um, uh, services, uh, jo agent services to run SSIS package while using the um, SSIS package execution proxy account. I hope this video helps.